Welcome to my life on YouTube. Today we are going to talk about your set. You know, that background that you work in front of. Right now I am in front of my, what I used to use as my talking head background. In this background is where I used to sit and talk to you like a talking head. Yeah. So right now you can see there is nothing there. Hmm. Not so attractive, is it? Well, let's try the easiest way if you want to do some sort of background that I can think of to do these things. And that is to just have something behind you. We've done this before when I talked about a backdrop and we just had a backdrop of me against a wall or a curtain. It's okay. I mean, it works. There's nothing wrong with it. But it really doesn't tell much of the story. It doesn't tell much about me. All right, so let's think about this in a logical way. So we want to build a background and we want this background to work for what we're doing. So there's something you need to do. Without spending any money whatsoever, you can do this. What you need to do is simple. Go through your house and gather up things in two categories. One, it tells your story. What do I mean by it tells your story? Well, let's say we'll take my channel for instance. My channel is about cooking, so I should gather up some things which say cooking, right? Sure. And then two, we're going to gather up things which talk about me. You know, which tell about what I'm interested in. It doesn't have to be this picture of me doing something, but it just has to give the hint of what I'm interested in. So let's gather up those items and see what we get. Once you have your items all gathered up, now comes the fun part. You get to put them up on the shelves and try to make a good display with the items that you have. Now the items that I have really do tell a story about me. You know from my videos about my weekly vlog that I love to do my garden. Yeah, that makes sense. And I have my dogs. You might not have seen the fact that I actually collect uh, stuffed animals. Yeah, I do do that. Uh, baking is all in there. so. It does tell a story about me, but that's not the only thing that you want to have your background do. You want to have your background reflect what it is that you want people to know. If my channel is about a home, maybe I could have a house in the background. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Or if your channel is about baking, maybe you want to have your baking items in the background, cars, some sort of motor stuff. But that way you have some idea. People can look at your background and say, well, there's something. You can see that in my background there's actually office stuff right now and I don't even have anything up. And that's to show that I actually do work on things and that sort of stuff. So let's get some, so we'll throw some stuff up here on the background right now. So it's all set up, right? Looks great, huh? Oh, you don't like it? You say it's boring and uninspired and you really can't see everything? All right, that's a valid point because when these things happen, you want to make sure that you set it up in such a way that you can A, show things off, and B, make sure that you're sort of the focus of the center of it. You want an undulating pattern so that it doesn't bring, so that your eye comes in to the center spot where you want it to be focused. We want all the attention in this set to be on me. So let's see what I can do about that. Okay, we've got our backdrop set and you can see it tells sort of a story. You can see it's not as dark, it's sort of interesting, and it just gives something nice to look at in the background without taking over everything. Backdrops can be very, very important if you're trying to tell a story. If you look carefully in a backdrop, which I'm trying to look at in the, my viewfinder right here, you can see the house and the stuffed animals and the plants, and then you can see that there's a jar that has of uh, silverware in it. The story is there. You can tell that this might be about some baking and some gardening and you know various collections and that sort of thing. But have your background tell some sort of story if you're going to do something like this. Now if it's your house, your backdrop will have a whole different way of doing this. But for something which you can set up just like this, this is one of those simple ways that you can have a backdrop that you really will like. If you have any questions on this, let me know down in the comments. If this is your first time here, remember to subscribe. Every Saturday is my life on YouTube where I tell you about the things which I have done to make my YouTube channel a little bit better. And I hope I get to see you again next time.